Hello. In today's video I'm going to do um, a track. I'm going to travel between the capital of the Zorae nation from Zora all the way to the lake lands to the triker capital of uh, Fairy Heaven. It's a long track, you have to come all the way through resting water, found bounty beaches and um, the Trench of Trials. And of course to arrive in Trench of Trials you have to get from Sora to the Grove of Umbra. As the map also shows you, there's the Grove of Umbra down there. Those are the vortexes in, in, uh, in the Trench of Trials and that's the Bounty Beaches uh, vortex where you end up. I still have my mount from the previous track, from uh, from doing Dairon to Dairon to Sora, so I'm not just going to release him or anything this time. Instead, I'm just going to buy some uh, some food for it and uh, start moving. The basic forage bales are nice; they're cheap for for any pocket. The only downside is. Uh, the, their bulk is pretty pretty high. They take 15 bulk each. So you might not be able to to fit too many in your own inventory. But it's, you can just fit them in your mount inventory considering mounts have another 300 bulk. So it's no problem. Just a, Just a minor annoyance maybe. I could have teleported or uh, used the New Horizons transporters to get from Zora to the city of Mincho. I would have saved this uh, this travel, but um, it's not long, and just want to record uh, this capital region, the cities of intuition. It's a very peaceful region. Um, people people say it's um, it's good for beginners because there are no aggro mobs. You don't risk uh, going around observing things, and uh, suddenly you don't you don't risk getting uh, some aggressive uh, dogs biting your uh, biting your butt. On the other hand, though, it's a uh, it's a bad region to start in because. Um, the, um, the mobs that do exist are quite difficult to kill. Mechtubes, for instance, um, do a lot of damage if you try to kill them. Slavenis, the plants are, um, are not bad per se, but they do some physical damage too, if I remember correctly. Some sort of slash, maybe. So, in the end, you you end up taking a lot of damage. Now the jungle is a maze at some points. You must know your way around. Since I started as a player, I started in a in this region, although my, my character is a virus, I should have started in the desert, but um, I chose the jungle because I had more than one character, so I wanted both of them in the same place. I was, um, I was going to play a Zore girl too, but um, after a while I just uh, I just gave up on her. My computer couldn't uh, properly handle two ca characters, and besides, Zore girls are not the best looking in the game, to be honest. Of course, it's a matter of um, perspective, a matter of taste, but um, that's just me. I'm not uh, completely fond of Soray girls. So I just ended up leveling uh, this character instead of the other, and my Pharos ended, ended up having to travel to the desert in order to feel home. So I finally arrived in the city of Mincho. This is where my my travel actually starts. Until here, it's uh, it was just uh, 
just wasting time basically. If your fame, if your net natural fame with your cami, with the camis is higher than the caravan fame, which is what happens with uh, Zore and um, Fire Stones. By default, they have plus 20, respectively, plus 10 cami fame. Then you also get a respawn point in a, in all the cities in a, in jungle. Because the jungle is traditionally a cami, a cami place, a cami nation. If you do not have a... If, if your caravan fame is higher because your character is Mattis or Triker, then your only respawn point is going to be in Zora. And each and every time you want to visit Mincho, you're going to need to use the New Horizons Transporter in Zora. Observation, observations aside, I'm just going to start moving. It's, uh, it's not worth wasting time. My frame rate is pretty bad at this point. It's only 25 frames. Getting to to the vortex, to the center of the region, is, uh, is a matter of uh, attention and luck. Mostly attention though. This chunk of the road is was uh, pretty safe. Right here, we're going to start encountering some uh, some uh, primitives, some primitive race called Kibay. They uh, they tend to hang around this wall, but usually, regardless of season, you you might have just the, the right way to to cross without uh, without getting attacked. I heard the Kipaka behind me, and that's right, I should be seeing some kittens too. That's a Kipasta, and yep, th those are the Kipakas too. So basically, that's, a, that's your boulevard, that's where you have to be, somewhere in between the, um, the kittens on the right and the Kipas on the left. There are some dogs too, roaming around, and some uh, Najabs, both of them are uh, aggressive, that's a, that's a dog. Of course, if you are traveling with a very low level character, you might want to take more time and look around so you don't take damage, because then you, your amount of options is... Uh, is very, very very reduced. This is not aggressive, it's a named Cray. As usual, named just means it has, uh, it drops uh, excellent mats, excellent great mats, and um, that um, it's harder to kill. I should buy a teleport pack, but uh, considering I uh, I already have one, I have all the packs available to my, for my character. I'm just going to head straight to the ramp and uh, go past the vortex. Now I should should have shouldn't have mounted because apparently I equipped my amplifiers to heal someone. I forgot to change back, so my uh, my dodge ability went down for for a while. Now this is better. I'm back to 300 plus dodge ability. Getting across the trench of trials should not be that difficult. It's um, there are two portions to it. In the middle, there's a teleportation device called the Zeno Akin. It's only for the Marauder organization. Um, getting to it should be easy if you are careful, but 
past it, there, there, there are going to be lots of aggro, lots of aggressive mobs that are not so easy to dodge. You'll see just in a moment what I'm talking about. <coughs> I just got stuck in uh, in those trees, which is not very very good idea, especially if you are chased by mobs. Thankfully, I only got the aggro. I only got one variant after I'm done uh, being stuck in uh, in uh, trees. There's a boss nearby, if you are lucky. It's called Very Coo. Alternatively, there could be a boss called Nachiku, basically a Varynx or an Hub. Bosses drops pre-mat and um, are pretty sought after, so um, your chances of randomly seeing them are very low. I have no idea how I managed to, to enrage the, the bandits, the blasters that are attacking me. I, uh, normally sticking to the wall should be good enough. Now, you might also want to do um, to run a who comment from time to time to see if there's anyone else in the region with you. Right now there, there isn't anyone. People don't attack neutrals, don't attack newbies, but um, under under roleplay, for instance, a marauder could try to kill someone in a in a PvP region like this one. So it's just best to be aware of what's going on. Be aware if there's anyone with you, and if there is, maybe ask them in region what their intentions are. As I said, past the Zinwakin, past this point, it's going to get more interesting. It already did. We have a one Kipaka, two Kipakas, and lots of Kipakas. Now, my character can afford to go through all of them, just not care. I'm going to aggro this Tyrantia. The alternative would have been to, to get two, two of them, both of them, to be aggro if I went through their, through their middle. One should keep in mind that um, aggressive mobs, um, like some of, some of them, also tend to kill your mount. For instance, um, Tyrantia can uh, can spit. It's a sort. It, it's a special attack, but, and it's a spit that, for some reason, just kills your mount. Other problems could be if, uh, if an aggressive mob is killing a Yelk nearby, Yelks um, gas, they eliminate some gas when they die, and if your mount is uh, within the gas range, then it's going to die too. It's, uh, it's fatal for the mount. And actually using Yelk gas to, to kill mounts and uh, packers is, uh, is a tactic during outpost battles. But uh, about that, maybe some other time. So this was getting through the trench of trials. It's it was pretty easy, I uh, I believe. Of course, uh, you can go most anywhere as a as a high level player. After a while, you start caring about the hits. You just get out of aggro range and um, sit down, heal yourself a bit, and that's pretty much it. Bounty Bitches is an interesting place to be. There are two options here. We, you could either go for the Caravan TP first, then go to the Vortex and Liberty Gateway. It's a Vortex leading straight to the capital region. It's more swimming, but um, I guess it, it's shorter overall because otherwise you have to come down to this vortex here leading into the found region then you have to run all the way through found 
to a vortex leading into resting water and then you have to run through resting water to the capital. I'm going to do this, I'm going to head to found, to, to found first. Because um, a new coming player and most usually most tracks will see people going uh, going to found and it, it gets you another teleport pact which is quite useful. I hate Zergs by the way, they, their um, special damage is uh, quite quite awful. As you can see I took uh, 1.2k damage, that's a lot. I have no option to avoid the aggressive mobs here. I think winter and um, sometimes spring are the worst moments to be in the bounty pages. As you can see I have more followers than a new Twitter account. Still with enough uh, hit points it's uh, easy. You just keep running and try not to deliberately pick every mob on the way because then of course you're going to take hits and eventually are going to die no matter your uh, your level. If you're unlucky and get a lot of critical hits performed on you, it's uh, it's end game. The alternative to going mounted or uh, despairing as a low player is to get. Uh, killing party, ideally one tank, one uh, nuker, one uh, good elementalist, um, maybe two elementalists, so they can actually actually back heal each other and um, just nuke, just kill everything that stands between you and your goal. The found region is very easy to clear. There are, it's uh, twofold. It's uh, it's split in two basically. Your first target is the caravan TP, right about here. Getting to it means getting to the lake, and uh, and you are pretty safe. And getting to the lake means getting past the, the aggressive mobs standing in your way, which is. Um, just to say, just some cantures usually, maybe one or two capestas depending on season. So that's the capestas, and there's the cantures. Death cancher, that's a specific cancher. They only appear when uh, when the server is restarted, and their materials are not really sought after. They're just pure annoyances with very few exceptions. I went in the water to clear the mobs, they can't follow you once you're in the water. So um, now I can uh, go back on the shore, keep moving at, uh, at an acceptably fast pace. I could avoid these cantures, but um, apparently they are also busy fighting other mobs, so I don't have to bother. Besides, if I uh, if I make it alive to the caravan TP, I'm just going to have the guards kill kill the cantures for me. Apparently I'm not followed. Of course, right here I would have to dismount to target the caravan TP, buy a pact, and so on. It's a, it's a lengthy explanation saying what you can buy and what you can't buy. 
let's just say my character is uh, aligned with the cami which means I can only buy cami teleport packs I, uh, I couldn't uh, I couldn't buy a, a caravan pack even even if I wanted instead I must use the the cami teleport pack, uh, altar which is deep in this uh, this uh, dead end right here past the Cory fin Finley farm it's not a bad uh, it's not a bad placement for for a higher level player but for beginners it's sometimes uh, difficult <laughs> apparently I ran through the vortex you do that if you are still mounted as I uh, I think I mentioned this before, you can't um, go through vortexes on a mount. You have to dismount, have your mount follow you, etc. Now, from uh, from this point on, through the resting water, it's just going to be a matter of uh, swimming. It's uh, slow and boring, and if you are uh, doing this with other people, you might as well just set yourself on follow and uh, enjoy the enjoy the view. It's weird the sound gets turned off if I uh, switch to first person view. Might be helpful sometimes if you don't like the, the constant repetitive sounds of um, swimming. weird how it, it snows in an otherwise very tropical place. You wouldn't expect this. Felicitări, ești să fii în videoclipul meu și tu 